Hey there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing really well out there. I'm going to show you a legato warm-up pattern that I use. Um, I've been working on my legato a lot these days. In fact, I usually work on my legato a lot more than I do my picking technique. Um, so I tend to practice a lot of warm-up patterns uh, when I'm practicing legato technique and this is one of them. So I'm going to show you exactly what I played at the start of the video. Um, just a couple of points though before I do that, um, in terms of the tone, um, what I usually do is make sure I've got plenty of gain. There's plenty there and I keep the volume all the way up for this kind of thing. The reason why is that it, it forces me to work on making sure my technique is as clean as possible. When you roll the volume off you can get away with a lot in terms of muting. Um, so I mean I love playing with the with, uh, making sure of you know changing the tone with the volume um, and I do that a hell of a lot because I don't like too much gain but when it comes to practicing these patterns it really helps to have a nice clean technique uh, by turning the gain, gain up it's quite challenging but once you get to grips with it it really will clean your technique up the other thing is keep your signal dry I mean make sure there's no delay or reverb there so you can really hear exactly um, the tone and um, the clarity of the notes that you are producing. So just those pointers out of the way, let me show you exactly what I was playing. Okay, we've just got a sequential pattern uh, that moves up the fretboard. And we're gonna start here, and it's based around a D major seven shape. It sounds like this, nice and slow. That's the first part of the pattern. Pick, hammer, hammer, pick, pick, hammer, pull off, pull off. Slide, hammer, pick, hammer, pick. And I use all downstrokes actually for this. You can obviously use whichever picking pattern that you want. Um, so, so that's basically based on a D major seven or just D major. Um, and what we're going to do then is we're going to play a secondary dominant in that key, which is based on chord number six. Now diatonically chord number six in the key of D is B minor. Well, we're going to turn it into a dominant chord and it's essentially the dominant, secondary dominant of chord number two in that key. So it's like a five two if you will. Uh, but I'll get to the next part later. So now we're going to play that dominant chord. So that's the first part. So once we've done we go straight to here, which is fret 11. Okay, so that's that whole pattern. I'll do that nice and slowly. Okay, now we've used this secondary dominant instead of modulating, sorry, instead of uh, playing that secondary dominant which leads us to the two chord in D major we're just going to turn this into um, uh, sorry we're going to turn it into a major chord instead of a minor chord so and that enables us to continue the pattern sequentially Oops. okay see what I mean so I'll do it nice and slowly Okay, you get the idea. And you can do that right up until you go an octave higher, all the way up to the D, so that will take you all the way up. All the way up. So, that is the warm-up pattern that I use. And again, make sure you aim for absolute clarity here. Make sure each note is nice and clear. Turn the gain up, and really be honest with the way that you're playing it. You know, if you've got lots of uh, extraneous noise going on in the background, you've got to make sure you clean up that and you've got to know where you're going wrong as well so keep things nice and slow make sure each note is as accurate as you can possibly play it with good tone and just gradually build up the speed make sure you're retaining that control with the left hand as well you don't want to get 
too fatigued by doing this. You don't have to. As long as you're controlling the tension in the left hand, then everything else should come. So, hope you've enjoyed this. I'm gonna be doing lots of lots more warm-up sequences for you uh, for this channel. So if you like the video, make sure you click like uh, and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll be seeing you guys very soon for the next video. Cheers.